manage your money is an important life skill. Studies show that half of Americans live paycheck to paycheck and can't save. That's why we developed Core Finance, a series produced with OCN to help people improve their personal finance skills. We all have financial goals. For example, paying off those student loans, buying a house, saving for college or retirement. But very few of us know how to do this well, if at all. We hope this series will help you get there. Here's a simple personal finance lesson we can start with. I'm sure you're all familiar with this story. Lessons always hit home with a good story. And the best storyteller I know is Jesus Christ. Christ teaches us many beautiful lessons with layers of meaning. As a financial literary enthusiast, I can even argue that Christ had a few lessons on how to manage your money. Remember the story of the prodigal son? You wouldn't think this is a personal finance lesson, but hear me out. A father gives his one son his inheritance before he knew anything about managing money. The other son just continued working hard and was waiting for the right time. The one son, who was not prepared for his inheritance, squanders it and ended up almost starving to death. But fortunately, dad was a good money manager and still had the means to support him. He welcomed him home with open arms. With good money management, the family stays together. This story is a perfect financial lesson. It teaches us about budgeting and saving and how important it is, especially if you don't want to move home again. Some of the statistics are shocking. 50% of Americans have less than one month's savings saved for a rainy day. Are cash cushions important? Of course. This is just one of the many pieces of advice you should know. Here's what I know after 30 years in banking and owning a financial coaching business, teaching personal finance to teens and adults and writing a book about it. People who understand their personal finances have more confidence in making financial decisions, have better and more secure relationships, stay out of debt and know how to save money. And finally, if everything is positive in your life, you'll have the time, resources, and disposition to appreciate all of God's wonderful blessings. Being Orthodox Christians make us better financial managers. Yes, there's even a study that showed there's a correlation between good personal finance and religion. Specifically, a more religious a person, the assumption is that the behavior is more ethical and the person is more risk averse. What does this all mean? The results showed that groups who were more religious had lower credit card debt, foreclosures, and bankruptcies. They also had higher credit scores. So being financially literate can help strengthen your spiritual life and a healthy spiritual life can make us better money managers. Whoa! Who could use all those wonderful money management skills? Well, millennials for one. A recent study shows that 24% of millennials who were tested had only basic financial knowledge. So this series could be very helpful to you. The next group we think this will help is women in general. Women make up 44% of all Orthodox Christians in America. A study on gender gaps showed that when women are tested on their understanding of financial concepts, they are much less likely than men to answer financial literacy questions correctly. It was also found that older women are even less financially literate. This affects retirement planning and leads to some bad financial mistakes. Obviously, this is worrisome since women tend to outlive men and may need the financial knowledge to make good decisions on their own at some point in their lives. When parents with young children are financially literate and well-informed, they make better financial decisions. This has a positive effect on the well-being of their family, both in the short run and the long run. All this leads to reduced stress, increased financial security, and a happy family life. It is our duty as Orthodox Christians to help one another succeed and live a productive, happy, and faithful life. Financial literacy will help in that journey. Come and join us. This is Maria Antokas, hoping you keep strong in your faith and strong in your core financial knowledge.